hello my friends at Divine Days and hello everybody else who's watching. I'm really excited to show you what I've been working on all week. And this idea came from my daughter Amber. Um, she asked me if she could go to the beach and I said I didn't know when we could go. So Amber came up with the great idea of bringing the beach to us. So what we've done is we've made a little beach in a jar. So I started off by taking the coffee out of this. This is just a jar from Home and Bargain. Took the coffee out, put it in a tub away, tub. And then we managed to find some sand that was in um, our pots in the garden. Added that into the jar. And then here, we've just, I've just well, I've just used nail varnish. And then sprinkled some bath pearls on, which sort of made this ocean effect it's supposed to be an ocean effect and then the only paint I could find was in the shed so this is garden wood furniture paint so I've painted the inside and that was just with a small brush and a sponge just painting the inside I did one only one side so that when you turn it around you can still see all the bits and pieces that you've popped in shelves the sea glass there that we had and on the lid I've just glued a shell, broke up a necklace and popped a pearl on the top. So this is Amber's idea of bringing the seaside to us. So once I've started creating the jar with the seaside inside I then realise we need more things to pop in. So what we've done is I found this little jar around the house and we've made a little message in a bottle and the kids have just wrote all the things that we've done while we've been on lockdown and I've just added some um, pretend diamonds that I've just picked up in Home and Bargain a while ago so I've popped that in so that now we have the message in a bottle inside our little beach jar I've also just with um, PVA glue I use light shells so glued the light shells together this is my necklace that I've cut to get these little beads off and pearls so I'll just pop a few beads and pearls into the shell if you want to do this yourself and you haven't got any sand and shells crushed up eggshell would probably look much better than sand and I suppose pasta shells, you could paint pasta shells and pop them in. So now we have our little beach in a jar. So we've got our little shell with the pearls inside. Oh, our message in a bottle. Turn that off. The great thing about this is you can periodically change and add to it. So if you find anything else, pop it in the jar and there you have your beach in a jar. So if we can't go there, the beach can come to us. So that's Amber's idea. And that led me on to a garden in a jar. So I've just cut some grass. Again, took the biscuits out of the jar, popped them in a tub or wear tub. So now, <clears throat> this is going to be our garden jar. So, I was thinking of later on or a later date, maybe using nail varnish to just maybe paint some flowers, which would just be a little bit of white dotted around, a bit of yellow inside. And here's what I made earlier. So, this is just a rock that I found from the drive. And again, nail varnish, just painted the whole thing, one side of it blue. Used the black here is just permanent marker. And then I've just gone straight up here, fine lines, and then used different color nail varnish, just dotted on the top to make it look like a tree. And then just put some birds and I wrote hope on there because this is gonna be our hope garden jar. So pop that in there. If anybody has any ideas on how to cut the grass 
when it grows longer, then comment below. Because at the moment, I think we might have to use nail scissors to trim the grass when it gets longer. I've just been giving this a tiny little bit of water. Got this a couple of days ago and it's doing well in the house. It's actually grown quite a lot. Now, with the bits of sea glass that I had left, I've used uh, Poundland glue, which is very similar to no nails. And I've just got the flat pieces of sea glass and made this wonderful little frog. He's really cute. He needs a name. If anybody has a name for him, comment below. So now I can put my little frog. There you go. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, he needs a family. I'm going to have to make a family. And here, on a shell, I've tried to make a dragonfly. It's just a pipe cleaner. That's just stuck in the middle. And then I've just glued four pieces of sea glass there. So now, dragonfly needs to go in. Bodies fell off. Let's just put them flat, maybe. Like that. So there we have our garden in a jar. And like I say, you can forever keep adding and changing. And it's just a fabulous little thing to, to keep. And uh, we, we do really do need to work out how to trim the grass when it gets longer. But for now, I think about uh, we've brought the garden inside and we've brought the beach inside and I'm really quite happy with them. So although we can't go to these places, there's no reason why they can't come to us. If anybody does make a um, seaside jar and uses eggshells, please take a photograph and send it to us at Divine Day's um, Facebook page or divinedays.com because it'd be really interesting to see. I think it'd look absolutely fabulous with crushed eggshell. So for now, enjoy making your garden jar. And remember, you know, if you haven't got sea glass, you can just use all different kinds of pebbles that you can find or rocks outside like this one. There's just a rock from the drive. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, bye-bye.